The St. John of Damascus Orthodox Educational Initiative presents the Damascene Podcast. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. This is Father John Summers, the headmaster of the St. John of Damascus Orthodox Educational Initiative, with the third recording in our series on the Gospel of Matthew. In chapter 3 of the Gospel of Matthew, we read, Quote, in those days came John the Baptist, preaching in the wilderness of Judea, and saying, Repent ye, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. For this is he that was spoken of by the prophet Isaiah, saying, The voice of one crying in the wilderness, Prepare ye the way of the Lord, make his paths straight. And the same John had his raiment of camel's hair, and a leather girdle about his loins, and his meat was locusts and wild honey. Then went out to him Jerusalem and, of all, and all Judea and all the region round about Jordan, and were baptized of him in Jordan, confessing their sins. But when he saw many of the Pharisees and Sadducees come to his baptism, he said unto them, O generation of vipers, who hath warned you to flee from the wrath to come? Bring forth therefore fruits meet for repentance, and think not to say within yourselves, We have Abraham to our father. For I say unto you that God is able of these stones to raise up children unto Abraham. And now also the axe is laid unto the root of the trees. Therefore every tree which bringeth not forth good fruit is hewn down and cast into the fire. I indeed baptize you with water unto repentance. But he that cometh after me is mightier than I, whose shoes I am not worthy to bear. He shall baptize you with the Holy Ghost and with fire whose fan is in his hand, and he will thoroughly purge his floor, and gather his wheat into the garner, into the garner, but he will burn up the chaff with unquenchable fire. Then cometh Jesus from Galilee to Jordan unto John to be baptized of him. But John forbade him, saying, I have need to be baptized of thee, and comest thou to me. And Jesus answering said unto him, Suffer it to be so now, for thus it becometh us to fulfill all righteousness. Then he suffered him. And Jesus, when he was baptized, straight up, went up straightway out of the water. And lo, the heavens were opened unto him, and he saw the Spirit of God descending like a dove and lighting upon him. And lo, a voice from heaven saying, This is my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased. End quote. For today, let's concentrate primarily on verses 1 through 2. There we hear St. John the Baptist's call to repentance. He says, Repent ye, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Recall what our Lord says about the speaker here. In Matthew chapter 11, verse 11, our Lord says, Among them that are born of women, there hath not risen a greater than John the Baptist. After the Most Holy Theotokos, then, the greatest person to have lived is John the Baptist. And what does St. John the Baptist say again and again? Repent ye. But what does it really mean to repent? This is a case where an English speaker is really benefited by looking at the Greek text. So if we look at Matthew chapter 3, verse 2 in Greek, we read, Metanoite, ingikingar i vasilia ton oranon. If you do not know Greek, please do not be intimidated. Please don't stop listening. It is the first word, metanoite, that we want to look at closely. That one word is translated in English as repent ye, and that's well and good. But again, let's ask, what does it mean to repent? If we look to a Greek lexicon, we will notice that the verb metanoin means to change one's mind. That is, quote, and I'm quoting the lexicon here, to change one's way of life as the result of a complete change of thought and attitude with regard to sin and righteousness. Thus, we... <clears throat> we see that what St. John is talking about here is a very deep sort of repentance. It is not simply to acknowledge what we did. It is not simply that we feel sorry for what we did. It is to change how we think, how we feel, how we act day to day, moment to moment. Indeed, as we see St. John says later in this passage, bring forth therefore fruits, meet for repentance. We must cultivate the, the cultivate the ground of our heart so that fruit is brought forth. That is, we must practice good works, denying, denying ourselves, carrying our cross. 
With that in mind, look at the second half of what St. John says. He says the kingdom of heaven is at hand. What is the kingdom of heaven? I suppose the short answer is the kingdom of heaven is where God dwells. St. Cyril of Alexandria says the, says the following, the kingdom of heaven, this refers to justification by faith and sanctification by the spirit. This is why it says elsewhere, the kingdom of heaven is within you. End quote. To live with God then, we must have an active faith. We must seek sanctification. We must seek to acquire grace through repentance and prayer. What might that mean tangibly in these days of fasting? First, the fast is not merely a fast from food, but a fast from sin. We need to examine ourselves so that we can discern our sins more readily. Here, more frequent and thorough confession is greatly helpful. Second, we need spiritual strength, and to that end we must pray more often. Third, we have to reduce, not increase, our distractions. Especially during the Nativity Fast, we are often tempted to celebrate the way the world does, with endless parties through December. I would note here that the world celebrates Christmas throughout December and then probably forgets about it the day after. In the Orthodox Church, it ought to be entirely different. We are to seek God in penitence throughout the days of the fast. We must seek him in prayer and fasting so that we behold in spirit there in the manger, we behold him in spirit, excuse me, there in the manger on the 25th of December. And then we are not to forget the feast no sooner than it comes, but to celebrate it through all the 12 days of Christmas from nativity to theophany. Do not be discouraged. I'm not trying to beat up on anybody. I'm simply trying to remind all of us, including myself, of the great importance of the Nativity Fast. So let us take the word, the words of the Baptist to heart. Repent ye, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Amen. I have showed you all things, how that so laboring ye ought to support the weak, and to remember the words of the Lord Jesus, how he said, It is more blessed to give than to receive. Acts chapter 20, verse 35. To donate to the initiative, please visit orthodoxlearninggoc.com slash donate. May God bless you. Have mercy.